Hey guys, Miso here with Miso Making It. Welcome to my kitchen today where we are going to be making a delicious, mouth-watering red velvet cake. Um, come and go along with me. Let's get started. Let's take a good look at who's going to be involved. Over here I have two sticks of room temperature butter. I have two and a half cups of cake flour. I have two eggs and two cups of sugar. I have one, uh, some, I have some vanilla flavoring. I have here some red food coloring. And in the back I have a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I have one tablespoon of vinegar and one teaspoon of salt. I have two tablespoons of uh, Hershey's cocoa. I also have one cup of buttermilk. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin by getting our butter, which remember is room temperature, and we're gonna get it right down into the mixing bowl. That was two sticks of room temperature butter. We are going to also uh, put two eggs into the butter, and we are going to mix it until it is fluffy. Here we're going to just lower the speed on the mixer some, and we're going to go ahead and get in our two cups of sugar. And we're going to beat that until it's nice and creamy. While that's beating, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sift our um, two and a half cups of flour. So here's the sifter. Let's just get some of that flour in there. And remember, this is cake flour. And while we're sifting, we're going to go ahead and put our one um, teaspoon of salt in the flour and just sift it right through with the um, flour. Now to this, I'm going to go ahead and add in my cocoa. Let's turn it down a little bit. And I'm going to add in my red food coloring. And this is one, one ounce bottle. And I'm just gonna put this in to see how I like the color. And if, uh, if I want it to be more red, I'll just add another bottle. But I don't like mine so deep dark red. So I'm gonna try to go with it just this one bottle. If you want yours darker, then just put in another one ounce bottle. And I'm going to just scrape down the sides of the bowl. Now I'm just going to let it beat a little longer. So now I'm adding in my flour and my buttermilk and I'm alternating, starting with the flour, then buttermilk, then flour, then buttermilk, and I'll be ending with the flour. Now the buttermilk, some flour, buttermilk, and this is the end of my flour. I'm going to stop here and just scrape down the sides of my bowl and then I'm going to give it another whirl. So here I'm going to add in my one teaspoon of vanilla flavoring and I'm going to mix my baking soda to my one tablespoon of vinegar and wait for this reaction. Okay, now I'm going to get this right into my cake batter. 
Here I have parchment paper. I'm going to use this parchment paper to put in the bottom of my pad. I have a sharp knife here. I'm just going to score the paper. It's going to give me the perfect size to fit down into the pad. I'm going to do this with both pads so that I have parchment paper for both bottoms. I have Baker's Joy spray here. This is a mixture of oil and flour. I'm going to spray these pads, put in my parchment paper, and spray the top of this parchment paper. I'm going to do that with both pads. There'll be no sticking here. So now I'm going to get my batter down into these pans. I'm going to try to get equal amounts in both pans. Look at this beautiful, rich color. Isn't it gorgeous? So here, guys, I have it in the pan. I'm going to just shake these pans down just to get rid of any air bubble, bubbles that might be in. I'm going to bake it at 350 for 20, 25 to 30 minutes. Here they are. They are. They've cooled and they're waiting on the icing. I'm going to go ahead and make the frosting here and I have three cups of confectioner's sugar. One stick of room temperature butter, one package of room temperature cream cheese, I have a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring, a teaspoon of lemon flavoring, and a dash of salt. I'm going to go ahead and start to mix. Here I'm just going to stop and scrape the sides of the bowl down and mix it a little more. Now it's time to get the icing on. Here we go. I'm just using a spatula here and I'm just putting the icing on uh, no particular way. I'm just trying to smooth it all over the mid middle of the two layers. And I'm going to do the same to the top. This is going to, this icing gets thick and rich and it's going to be nice and fluffy all over the cake. Guys, while you're watching this, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what you're waiting on, go ahead and hit that button and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you a penny. That way you'll know every time I put up a new video. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. The hint of lemon in this icing is so good. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle on some pecans. There you have it. Oh, so good. I take this cake anywhere. Beautiful. Let's cut it and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, my. Look at this. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to taste it for you because I want you to know what it tastes like. Let's see, how much should I try? A big piece, a little piece. Let's see, back up here. Yeah. No? Oh, this size. Okay, well, I'll taste this much for you guys. Oh, look at this. Decadent, delicious, moist. Oh. Oh. I knew it. Oh. Yes, more, more, more. This is for you guys. Oh, I just want to make sure that it's really, really good. Oh, okay, okay. This one is for me. Oh. This is hard work, but somebody's got to do it. Oh, this is A1 perfect, delicious. Oh. So, guys, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for coming by to see what I was cooking today. Come back. Bye-bye.